Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is video 16 in the playlist, and we're gonna be setting up auditing for files and folders in 2022 server. So we're gonna be doing a lot of steps here. First, we're gonna go ahead and create a folder on our server. We're gonna share that out, add all the permissions and all that good stuff. And then once we're done with that, what we're gonna be doing is creating a group policy object or a GPO for the auditing settings right on the DC. Then we're going to go ahead and link this uh, group policy to the OU that is like your file server. In my case, my file server where I want to create this share is on the domain controller. And then we're going to go ahead and test, you know, log into our client, access the share, create some folders, files. And then, you know, we're going to go ahead and delete, create and all that good stuff and check the event viewer for the logs and make sure what we configured is put to the test, right? So let's go ahead and open up our domain controller in this case, okay? So like I said, the first things first, we're gonna go ahead and open up File Explorer. I'm gonna go ahead and open up C drive. And what I wanna do here is I'm just gonna create a new folder. Okay, so I wanna name this new audit share, okay? So I can access that, that's good. Let's go ahead and right click on it, go to properties. We're gonna go ahead and go to share, advanced sharing, share this folder, permissions. We can allow everyone for the share permissions because we're gonna go ahead and go in and configure some NTFS permissions. So now we're gonna go ahead and go to security. We're gonna go to advanced, okay? So in advanced, we're gonna go ahead and disable inheritance. Go ahead and do that, that's fine. And I wanna go ahead and whack these two, remove, just like how we did in previous videos. So now what we're gonna do is add the group that we wanna have access to this. So if we go back to Active Directory, I wanna go ahead and put the HR team in here. That's what we're gonna be testing with. Let's go ahead and uh, go ahead and hit add, set a principal. And I wanna do HR underscore team. Oops, HR, not HT, sorry. It's getting late here, it's 11.04 p.m. So I'm getting a little tired, per se. So here we go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and apply this to this, fold, this folder only, that's fine with me. I'm gonna go ahead and show advanced permissions. We're gonna go ahead and create, uh, so this, uh, this uh, group has access to create folders, okay? So I think that should be good. So go ahead and hit okay and hit apply. Okay, so let's go ahead and close that out for now. Let's go jump on my Windows 11 box. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and log in with someone that's a part of that team. And let's go check, sorry about that. Actually make it bigger, full screen. So we can just toggle between two VMs. Okay, so let's go ahead and go back to Active Directory. And we can log in as Val. I'm gonna go use Val in this demonstration. Let's go back. Okay. So let's let's log in as Val. And once we get in here, should be good. All right. So let's go ahead and log in. Open up File Explorer. We can do backslash backslash. In my case, Win twenty two. Dash DC01. Whoops. Oh, back. All right, so let's try it again. Yep, right there. And then we should see new audit. Boom. We should be able to create a new folder. I'm just going to put val test. Okay, we're good. We can delete it. Go more options and then go ahead and just delete this. Okay, we're good. All right, so we're good here. So now let's go back to the domain controller and create the group policy that we are gonna have all this fun doing, right? So let's go ahead and open up group policy. This is where all the fun begins. Let's go to group policy objects, create a new group policy. 
And I want to name this, let's see, I'm just going to put it like file editing. Okay, that should be fine for me. All right, perfect. So let's go ahead and right click on this. Go ahead and edit. <coughs> Excuse me. So we're going to go ahead and go to computer configuration, and then we're going to go to policies. Then we're going to go to Windows settings, security settings. So in security settings, we're going to have right here local policies. Okay, the local policies. In here, we have security. Right, we have audit policies, secure uh, security, uh, user rights assignment. But we're going to be focusing on the audit policy. So what we're going to do in here is define uh, uh, object an uh, audit object access. Sorry, and I should have done this tomorrow morning, but we already started, so let's finish. So let's go ahead and go to properties. I'm going to go ahead and define this for success and failure. So whatever, if someone successfully does something or fails to do something, we can get that in our uh, in our logs, right? So the next thing we have to do, we can come down here and go to advanced audit policy configs. And there's one thing I want to do in here to do is on object access. So we want to do file, uh, audit file system. So we can double click on here, same thing. I want to go ahead and have that in our policy. I think that should be good. For now, just for this demonstration, so we can uh, get all those bells and whistles good to go. So let's go ahead and uh, X out of there. We can go ahead and go to the, follow, the, the, the policy and then go to settings, show all. We can see what's, what's defined here. So we should be good. Should be good. All right, so let's go ahead and go to domain controllers, because this is where we're going to be applying this. Link an existing group policy, so the file auditing. OK, I spelled audit wrong, but that's fine. I can't even see. Too small for my eyes. But I know what it is, right? So that's fine. So what we're going to do now is do a group, uh, group policy update, so a GP update here. So once we're good here, and this is going to be our file server. You know, obviously you can do this on a real file server, but in this case, it's um, it's my domain controller, my file server, it's like the old days, All right? Like you have everything on one server. All right. So there's one last thing we have to do, which sometimes I do forget, but I took a note of it. So after we're done with all that, we have to enable auditing on the folder. So let's go ahead and open up the folder, go to po uh, properties, go to sh security, back into advance, and we have an auditing tab here, right? So we can go to auditing. There's nothing defined yet. So we can go ahead and hit add. We're going to add a uh, select the principal, and we're going to put HR underscore team. We're going to do that group that we set, okay? And then in here, what we're going to do is we're going to have you know, everything. So we're gonna have uh, success and failures. And we're gonna have this, this uh, we wanna audit this folder and any files and folders that reside in the subfolders, right? So let's click on uh, show advanced uh, permissions. We wanna only, I wanna take, get rid of all this. Just for simplistic sake, I wanna audit just delete, deleted subfolders and files and what is created on my server. On, on that um, that share, okay? That's good for me. I don't need the whole shebang. I just wanna simplify it. Let's go ahead and hit apply and okay here. Okay, so now let's go ahead and minimize this. Let's open up file manager. Next slide here. We can go to tools. We can go to event, man uh, event viewer. In here, what we have to do now is go to Windows Logs, Security. So it's 11.11 right now. So let's see. So the last thing we have here is 
So if we open this up, obviously it's going to be, you know, account, blah, blah, blah. But we're going to go back to our, let's go back to the Windows 11 machine. Now in here, we should have this folder auditing. So we can go ahead and create a new file. Uh, did I do something wrong? See, let me make sure I break anything. I thought I applied. Uh, let me see if I can make a new folder. Okay. I need to go check that out. All right. So that's not a problem. I can just put test dash val. Okay. So in here, let's see if we can create a new folder. I mean, a new file. Okay. This is test. I guess it just took a second. All right. So now let's go ahead and go back to our server. And we can see that new events are available. We can go ahead and refresh this. So we have 11, 12 now, right? So this is file system. Let's go ahead and go to the first one. So Val is the account. So Val is in trouble. So we can see here that there's a new file, a new folder created. And when you create a new folder by default, it's called new folder until you rename it. Just in a little FYI. So let's go ahead and go to the next one. Okay. So we can see here, uh, test-val, that is there. And the, the keyword is audit success, it's file system. So if we go down, we can see that it's write data. The access is write in data, which is adding a file. Okay, let's just go to the last one. And the same thing, we can see that uh, test, test-val was created, that was the folder, right? So let's go ahead and close this. Now let's go ahead and go back and delete it. And that'll be the last test because we want to test delete, create. Let's go ahead and go to show more options. Whack this bad boy, delete. All right, so now Bob comes in and says, oh, who deleted my folder? Mr. Admin, we call in the help desk and us as the system admin, whatever. There's new events. We can go investigate and refresh this. We see something at you know, 11.13, we could say, okay, Mr. Bob, when was the last time you were trying to access it? Okay, it was 11.13. Double click on this. We can see that it was a audit success. This is audit success. Uh, doo -doo -doo. Let's go see if there's a new any new ones because we did delete it. Let's go here, let's go to the next one. Let's see if this is del deleted. Yep, this is the delete, okay? So this is the, this is the folder that she deleted and we got her. We'd say, okay, now Val, why did you delete this folder? Um, because I wanted to, All right? So that pretty much concludes this video. So let me go ahead and open up the PowerPoint to recap of what we learned. We enabled auditing for you know, the folders and files. We created a new share. We created the group policy. We applied that to the domain controller and we went into the Windows 11 machine. We accessed the share, created some files and folders, deleted the files and we saw the logs and we pretty much concluded the video. So again, hopefully you guys liked it. Hit that thumbs up button, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. And uh, until next time, have a beautiful day. Thank you.